What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you on how to make a simple grappling hook system. It's going to be a very easy tutorial to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we have to do is go into our uh, character blueprint. In my case, I'm going to be using the default first person character, but of course you can use whatever type of uh, character you have, third person, first person, whatever, okay? So, the first thing that we're going to do is go into the event graph. I'm going to find a space over here. Now, we're going to say that when I, for example, left click, I will be grappling. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and find the left mouse. And basically, when I'm going to be pressing it, we're going to be, uh, you know, creating uh, all the line trace and things that we need. So I'm going to go ahead and create a line trace by channel. This will basically right cast a line into a point. I'm gonna be right cast it, uh, right cast it, sorry, uh, from the first person camera. So I'm gonna get it, or your third person camera, whatever you have. And I'm gonna get the uh, location, get the world location, and plug that into the start. And then we're gonna basically get the rotation, and again, the world rotation. And we're gonna get the forward vector. And then we're going to multiply this by the value that you want, uh, like basically the range. Okay, first of all, we're going to right click and convert it into float. So it's a nice number. And now uh, this basically whatever distance you want to basically be able to grab a hook. Uh, in my case, I'm going to be like putting in like 3000, something crazy just to have something. But, you know, you will put here whatever you want. And then we're going to basically add um, both um, uh, vectors. So just control or put this in here then add this one and that that will be the end point i'm gonna leave this in default visibility etc and what we're going to do is just drag the return value and make a branch so it only does things when uh, it's actually impacting with something i get the out hit i'm gonna go ahead and break the result and we're gonna get the impact point right click in it promote variable and this is gonna be a variable for uh, the impact point so this is gonna be the grab point for example and i'm gonna plug this in into true so now we'll basically be creating an invisible right cast that will be getting a point we can just debug this by putting here uh, for duration and then press and play then if i left click you can see that it's creating an invisible line well right now it's visible but uh, to colliding where we want to basically grapple so that's cool so the next thing that we're going to do is create a new variable which is going to be is grappling it's gonna be a boolean okay and we'll be dragging this in here and we're gonna set it to true because basically we're gonna be grappling grappling sorry uh when we have our point uh selected then what we're going to do is on released we're gonna set it to be false because uh if we stop holding the button we want to stop grappling and there's one more thing to do um i'm just gonna put this a bit more to the left so i have more space okay uh the next thing we're going to do is set the movement mode of the character movement component to be basically um flying okay it's gonna basically add some things that's gonna be making it much more like we're actually uh, grappling through the air or whatever okay so uh now if we hit play nothing really will happen uh, even though that basically be flying you can see I'm sliding um, Also gonna go ahead and copy this paste this on the released and put this back Into instead of walking falling because basically you're gonna be kind of up in the air And when you touch the ground it automatically will switch back into walking It's gonna be better if we put it in falling. Okay, so this is gonna be the basically the um, grappling mechanic mechanic There we go I'm going to put a nice color. There we go. So it's going to be our grappling mechanic. Now we need to basically create a cable that will uh, go from our starting point into the end point from our gun into the you know point that we have over here and then add some force to go into that direction. So I'm going to go ahead and go down here and add an event tick because we want to do it in every frame. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a branch. I'm going to basically make sure that we are grappling. So just go ahead, get it. And then there we go. So we will need to create a cable component. So go into the viewport, go into the first person camera or whatever camera you have. Uh, now, if you want to start it from the gun, just add it into the mesh or whatever. 
in my case I can do it in the camera and then just search for cable and then we have the cable component you can see so uh, basically I'm gonna make it so that it basically starts um, kind of when he, where he would be holding the gun so I guess it will be kind of here okay I just I'm gonna do it quickly for now but yeah and then a thing I have to do is the number of segments I'm gonna put it into one so that it will be more um, it, it won't be such as baggy okay and then we can go ahead and search visibility and turn it off by default because at the start we're not gonna be grappling okay so now we're gonna go into the bench grab and on here we're gonna get the up here actually after we set the movement mode and in cable I'm gonna set visibility um, we're gonna set it to true so we can basically see it there we go copy I'm gonna go up into here where we stop grappling and then this is gonna be false so we're gonna disable the cable now on here what we're going to do is you go, is basically um, put the cables and location into the point that we have impacted with the right cast so we're gonna get the cable I'm gonna set um, and I uh, was said and location so we have to pass our end location here now we could just get the grab point and just plug it over here but the direction of where the forward is facing it will be wrong so we will have some uh, artifacts uh, uh, sometimes so what we can do is instead of doing that we can well get again the grab point but we're gonna go ahead and inverse the transform location of this one and then this will be the get actor transform or place basically now we'll plug this into the end location and we have a nice cable and then the next thing I'm going to do well we can test this out uh, so now you can see that if I press play and I hold you can see that I have a cable being applied now you can see that when I move it disables uh, well now disables it just basically uh, on top of me well I, I cannot see it basically um, so we're gonna be adding some force so we can go into that direction of the cable so just go ahead and make an add force and it's gonna be from the uh, where is it where is it uh, the character movement component and okay so we need to find this force so the first thing that we need is to find the direction so just get the grab point and we're gonna get unit direction so it's gonna be from we're gonna control and put it into two it's gonna be to the grab point but from the get actor location so where we are basically current at currently at uh, then we're gonna add this into our get move right left okay and then we are gonna plug this into uh, another times value okay there you go and it's gonna be down and then we're gonna get the actor right vector I'm gonna plug that on top of here and then we're gonna times this again by a search number which we're gonna right click convert it into a float and I decided that this is gonna be kind of 0.7 basically a small value then we can plug it on here where we add it and the next thing we can do is normalize so there you go and then we can go ahead and times it by a great value right click convert this into float now this is whatever value you have uh, you want to basically apply the force it's gonna be kind of how fast it will go into that point now are we putting something like 250,000 um, and then just plug that into oh, there we go into force all right and now we can basically test it out so I have changed map because this one just looks a bit cooler and if I go ahead and press play, you can see that I can go ahead and grapple into these columns. <laughs> it looks really, really cool and really amazing. You can go ahead and experiment at all with uh, how basically you would like to do it and ch by changing the force and stuff. So yeah, guys, that was the tutorial. If you enjoyed it, found it helpful, I would really appreciate you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials as this one, so if you want to check them out, go ahead. Now, yes, with all said, bye-bye.